Hi to all, today I want to show you how to make Batucera work with a CRT. You will need a specific graphic card with an analog output, a PC, an LCD to make the initial configuration, you need a pen and drive, you will need a CRT, an electronic device called video amp, a SCART cable to connect the video amp to the CRT, and you will need another cable, a VGA to DVI analog to connect the graphic card of the computer into the video amp. Why this? Some may ask. Well, first, because it's cool. <laughs> Second, the image uh, doesn't give us ghosting as the a normal LCD uh, gives us. No lag. I don't feel any lag in the image, but I feel lag in the LCD. And uh, the, the most important, I may say, we can play all of these games with higher quality than the original were intended to be played. Let's say, for example, this game run, for example, at 1x of quality. I can play it now at, for example, 10 times higher the quality. Very fast, no drop of frame rate, nothing. So that's the main advantage of this. I'm going to show you now how to do it. Open your favorite browser, go into batucera.org and download our version for desktop. You'll start downloading. After downloading the image, you install and open Balena Etcher. What we will do now is flash Batucera, already downloaded this file. Let's open and select the target, which it can be a pen drive or a, a normal disk. Select drive and you will make flash. Since I'm on a Mac, asks me for my password. This can take um, 10 minutes or five, depending on the, the velocity of your drive. After the Batucera has been flashed in the pen drive, we will take it out and we will add it in the computer. Now that the flash is completed, eject the pen drive and let's connect it to the computer. The drive here with the gamepad, with the keyboard connected to the Ethernet. We will need for the computer to be connected to the internet and audio output and HDMI. Let's turn on the computer and we will see first booting of Batucera in an LCD. Yeah. Here it is the first Batucera boot. First step, make sure you have this machine with internet. To check this, press start. Go to network settings, make sure you already have a, a number in the IP address. If you don't have here a number, turn on Hi-Fi and uh, add your credentials. After that, go back, F1 on the keyboard, you will see the file explorer. Here we have the applications folder in the left, and we have here the application called Xterm. Open it. With your phone internet browser now, search for Batucera CRT script. Let's go to the official GitHub and go to the installation instructions. This is the command line, write this in extern. Okay, if you write the code well, we will press enter and we will see the script being installed and open. For my graphic card specifically, I need to run this two times, but uh, if you have another graphic card other than mine, it will just be this boot. Let's press start and we are greeted with this menu, let's press start and the first time it says this card isn't ready for 15k. Need to update. Yes, okay. And it asks me to reboot. The computer is rebooting. Okay, let's press again F1. Let's go again to the applications folder. Open Xterm. And if we press the up arrow, we can see the last code we, we have used. So here it is. Let's press enter again. Now this is the real deal. Let's start script install. 
enter, enter, and now my card is ready. Let's press enter. Now we need to select which analog output do you want to use. In my case is number three. If you go up or down, you can see the options here. I will go to option one, generic 15, one, enter. Now the resolution we want to use, I am going to select number two, enter. Enter again to continue. It's asking me if I want to rotate the screen. I will press one for none. Now the emulation station orientation, one for normal, in my case, of course. Enter again to confirm. Advanced configuration, usually I keep it uh, like it is, so I will press enter to bypass it. Again, press enter, again, press enter, and no, I don't want to configure anything else. Enter. Now we are greeted with the last message, and I will press enter to finish. I need to shut down now, now my computer and turn on the right cables, press enter. This is now configuring the Batucera to work with the analog output of the graphic card. I can now turn off the computer, but I prefer to do exit, go to file and close window, and here in Batucera, go to the menu, quit and shut down. Really? Yes. Now, the next time Batucera boots, it will boot with the CRT support. Meaning, I can now turn off the HDMI cable. I can power the video amp via USB. And I can now use this cable, which is DVI analog in this end. And this cable is VGA in this end. So the signal goes from the graphic card analog output to the video amp input and then the SCART goes to the CRT and the video amp must be turned on via USB, okay? Let's turn on now the computer and let's turn on now the CRT and we will see Batucera booting in the CRT for the first time. Also, if your screen starts with a 16 by 9, usually in your remote control we have a button to change from 16 by 9 for 4 by 3 like you see this. You may need to adjust the geometry in the service menu of your CRT with a combination of buttons here, each TV has its own. This video is not for that, but I should say that too. I can suggest you to change the following options here in the user interface settings. In the list transition, I suggest you to change to in instant, game launch transition to instant and also I suggest you to change the configuration for detailed and the preview pane to yes. Let's go back and you will see the games like now I will show you. In the left side a listing and in the right side a video showing off the game. This is it. I hope you like it. Press like and subscribe if you want me to do more videos like this. Bye bye. Here it is, the first Batu Sera boot. Now, first step, start and go to network settings to check what is the IP address of this computer. In this case, is this one, okay? Now, I'm going to again go to the computer. We will search first for Batu Sera CRT script. This is the link. We need to install this, okay? Let's go to installation instructions. We see various methods of installing, but we will use this one. I will open terminal on my Mac, command line prompt, and I will connect first to my Batucera machine with the following code, SSH space root and then the number of my Batucera machine, which is this one. I'm going to connect to it, pressing enter and is asking me if I want to do it. Yes. The password is Linux. 
and here we have I'm connected to but to set a machine remotely and now I'm going to copy this command line and command V paste it into there okay I'm going to press enter and what I'm doing right now is installing Batucera CRT script into my Batucera. I will start the install. This is the, the script running. Enter. And it's saying that I don't have yet my graphic card prepared. But I want to prepare it. Enter. And press Enter to reboot. Rebooting. Batucera is rebooting now, and since I'm using uh, this specific graf graphic card, I need to start again the, the script the same way I did it. So I will connect again to my Batucera, and I will copy-paste again the code to open the CRT script. Here it is, running the second time start script install and now these are the options you can see let's start enter the graphic card is now ready enter and now the script is asking me which video output i want to use for a crt in my case is the number three which is the analog video output enter and now it's giving me a choice of selecting which uh, screen will I use. It's the first one, generic 15, one, enter. Then the resolution I want to use in the user interface. The second one, and I want to continue, yes. And now, if I want to rotate the screen, no, one. Normal, one and enter again. This is advanced configuration. I will press enter to bypass it. And also again, keep default number two and uh, keep default enter. And uh, no, I don't want to configure anything else Two, enter. Enter again. And now it's changing the system. Okay, it's done. Okay, it's done. Now I go to Batucera. I will turn off Batucera now. Quit. Shut down system. And now unplug the HDMI and plug now the analog DVA into this graphic card. The video amp needs to have power. So I'm going to connect here to a USB. And now this cable is connected to video amp and the video amp is connected to the screen, to the CRT. Let's turn on the computer and let's turn on the TV. We will have Batucera running in a CRT, first boot. In this case, I need to press this remote control for changing from uh, this to this. Batucera in a CRT. Now about some suggestions I can give you, let's uh, make some adjustments here. User interface settings, I suggest you to put instant in these two options, list transition and gain lost uh, uh, transition. I suggest you to put this in uh, detailed, I suggest the preview pane to be on and uh, for you to see the games listing and games and videos like this. The next step is add BIOS into our Batucera. I use FileZilla to connect uh, remotely into my Batucera machine. Since I know the IP, username is root, password is Linux, port 22. I already have here in the memory. So, yes, I want to connect it. And you will see user data here. I have my BIOS here. I can drag and drop the BIOS folder into here, user data, and eventually it will ask me if I want to overwrite the files. Here it is, always, and it will upload all these files into there. I must add also into ROMs all of these BIOS inside. 
and then after that we can add into roms folder some roms let's go to model 2 for example and let's drag and drop just one game for now here it is after dragging and dropping all the bios and the games we will see them here and we must then make a refresh of the game lists start game settings update game lists we will see all the games here well now that we added all the games and bios you can check here in the game settings if you go below you will see system advanced configuration and you will see all the emulators you have here and you can now change them for the best emulators for the best specs to have nice graphics okay also beware that model 2 emulator needs to be connected to in the internet the first time booting okay it will take uh, a few seconds maybe one minute or so um, and this is it if you have any questions feel free to ask leave a like subscribe to give me the willing to make more videos thanks a lot and bye bye for example this is a, a dreamcast game look no frame rate drop super fluid running with the, the graphics uh, on steroids this is running much better than the original dreamcast game on a crt okay no drag no frame frame rate dropping nothing okay and this happens with all the games in here okay for example this one These are not the original graphics. This is running 6x more quality than the original. In the original, you will see lots of pixels here. Okay, lots of pixels you are not seeing here in a CRT. So this is like um, playing a 4K video in an um, HD monitor. You will see much better the image. Even though the screen is an HD, you will see a 4K video in a HD monitor uh, with higher quality. Look at this. You don't see this quality in the original game. And super fast, super fluid, super fluid. No Raspberry can do it, of course. At least in the closing years. Okay? I can show you fast. So memorize this, memorize the, the graphics now, okay? Memorize it. I will change now to, I will change now the game to its original specs, okay? So let's go here and uh, make everything at auto. everything is um, mimicking the original when we let the settings in auto the games run like they were intended to be played lots of pixels there let's see the moto just pixels everywhere even if I was just playing like this the look at the moto lots of pixels there well this this is like the original game okay even though the game is running much is much faster than the original